Hello everyone, this is a what I think is a fairly extensive review of the GPD XD portable gaming system. First off, I'd like to say that this is the best portable gaming system device I have ever owned. There's only one quirk that I really had with it, is that the D-pad I find is pretty mushy, but you get used to it fast. And the side buttons have a nice click to them. There's a little LED light that shows when it's charging and when it's in use and it changes color when the screen is turned off and the lid is open the light will show green just in case you leave it on with the lid closed and you forgot about it while it's charging and the screen is off it'll show red if it's charging and the screen is open that light will be beige. The analog sticks have a rubber feeling to them. Once you start gaming, I find that they get a little slippery. So that's why I prefer the D-pad. The device also comes with dual speakers stereo. On the back of the device you will find the headphone jack there, mini HDMI, USB which is also on the go and your micro USB card which accepts up to 32 gigabytes. Anything more the unit has trouble with. There's also an area on each side where you can put a lanyard or something on here. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to hang it on your neck. It's kind of heavy. So, yeah, but the features there nonetheless. You got your four shoulder buttons L1, L2. R2, R1, on the device, L3 and R3, got your button mapper key, your menu key, your back key, your recent key, volume up and down. There is no Bluetooth on the XD but you can use multiple wireless 2.4 GHz controllers using a USB on-the-go cable and a USB hub. The on-screen controls may be a bit tough to get rid of on the built-in emulators, so I recommend downloading ones that you prefer from the Play Store. Everything shown here today will have links below on how to use them and where to download them. I will be showing you how to root the GPD XD and install a custom ROM and increase the CPU speed to 1.8 GHz. The unit runs stock at 1.4 GHz, the, the newer version. The chip is made for 1.8 GHz but has been downclocked to save battery. Even at 1.8 GHz, the device barely gets warm. You can skip the step below if you, if you wish, uh, but this will maximize the potential of the XD. Links below will also show you how to use the button mapper and a program called Tin Key, which in my opinion does a better job and has more compatibility. Back up your data to your external SD card, the ROMs you may have downloaded already through Happy Chick or other means. These are located on the root of your XD memory card. Using a program such as Set CPU, you can lower the clock speed if you choose after rooting or make profiles for certain emulators. I won't be showing you the process, but it is very easy if you follow the, link, the links below provided. You will be now faced with a stock version of Android 4.4.4, a clean slate, nothing on it. Now you can download Happy Chick from the link below and copy back over the stuff that you made a backup of earlier using ES File Explorer. Just copy and replace all the files. Now on to the ROMs. I'm sure you already know how to get them from Happy Chick. 
make sure you get the U or the USA ROM file for best compatibility, otherwise it will run slow and choppy. Yes, even Nintendo will. If you can, try and use the zero frame rate skip in the emulators. I won't be showing the emulators working, because there are many other videos out there of emulators working on this machine. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.